Tesla has made significant progress in rethinking its battery cell and is well along the way to an expected improvement of 56% in Tesla's total cost per kilowatt hour. Tesla has announced that it is not trying to cut purchases from its suppliers, but encourages them to produce more. They are simply looking into creating a new model that could benefit all stakeholders. Tesla explains that it only wants to accelerate the growth in the battery scene. Panasonic and LG, both companies that supply Tesla, are working on this new battery. They hope to start mass production soon to feed the Tesla line. Electric cars are more expensive than gasoline cars due to their cost of production, and it is just what this new line is hoping to address to reduce the cost of buying an electric car. If you are new here, make sure to smash the subscribe button for a whole year of good luck. Let's jump into the video. The 4680 battery cell is a single cylindrical unit, 46 millimeters wide and 80 millimeters tall. The larger overall size allows for five times more energy storage capacity than the last update from Tesla 2170 batteries. In addition, the battery is a tabless electrode cobalt-free lithium battery that increases EV supercharging capabilities. Cobalt mining and using batteries has environmental challenges, and this new idea of a cobaltless battery means a 90% recyclable battery. This is great news for the environment. The five-step plan of cutting cost into half is categorized as follows. Cell design, cell factory, anode materials, cathode material, and cell vehicle integration. Cell design. Tesla requires bigger cylindrical batteries because they cost less. The existing cells have two containers made of film and are much smaller compared to this. These new batteries have fewer containers, reduced materials, and five times more energy. In addition, this new battery makes the electricity travel faster than usual within the battery and adds six times the power and speed. These also allow faster charging times because they receive electricity quicker and longer mile coverage. This battery was a tough call to design, but Tesla is convinced that they have finally hit the mark. Cell Factory This is how the batteries are made. The process is going to be dry. The current approach adds water to the powder and then bakes it in an oven. But the dry technique that the 4680 will use indicates that the powder will be directly transformed into film and become the battery. Tesla has already manufactured six machines with the hope to drive them into mass production finally. This dry production will mean a 10 times reduction in energy spent in production. Anode Materials Silicone is the second most abundant element on the planet after oxygen, and it is excellent for production with less environmental harm. Tesla is hoping to recycle silicone in such a way that its expansion after production stops. In addition, the company plans to use elastic coating to stabilize their raw silicone, which will mean less production material cost and less expensive cars. Cathode materials. The batteries need a stable container to manage the iron so that it doesn't move. The cobalt was what was used in previous batteries, but there is a new look at nickel. Nickel is cheap and has a high density, but it also requires stabilization. So the company is hoping to use a combination of iron, lithium, and nickel for production. The lithium is going to be extracted with table salt. This practice is a way to ensure safer practices from the base. Cell Vehicle Integration An alloy has been developed by Tesla to hold these new cars. There is a vehicle structure that Tesla will also produce to fit this new battery. The car will require more minor car parts and a cut in the cost of total production. This cut is because the typical 4,000 to 8,000 cells found in an EV currently will be reduced to about 500. A five times more energy storage capacity means more drive time. This more capacity will assure you of more energy and less anxiety about making many stops to recharge your battery. The battery also has a shorter path for electrons to flow, which translates to shorten charge time. We would all love a super fast charge time where a 30 minute charge can take you on a 3000 mile trip. The available format of the Tesla distribution chain is North America, then the rest of the world. It looks like this new battery will jump the gun on this one because of the production of the Y model, which will be equipped with 4680 batteries. The Model Y is distributed in Asia as soon as Shanghai phased out its production. Europe is next as soon as production is reached in Berlin. The cars are looking a lot different from their US counterparts due to the structural battery design. The Berlin factory, Giga Berlin, has not always had a smooth running. There were initial court sanctions for Tesla when environmentalists petitioned the country's authorities over clearing forests to set up the Giga. Today, with all the strides that the new battery will make and the impact on the global market to have it produced in Germany, even the Minister of Economics and Energy, Peter Altmaier, is gunning federal support for the company. 
The Federal Republic was instrumental in Tesla being one of the 42 recipients of the EU's $3.5 billion battery aid. The aid is to improve the electronic car industry in Europe. The EU is hoping to reach climate neutrality by 2050, and electronic cars may be a way to achieve that goal. The battery industry in Europe is forecasted to reach $305 billion by 2025. Critics have mentioned that although this is a significant game changer, it may also be prone to overheating in the center due to its extensive nature. They have also talked about safety issues due to Panasonic's known slow to produce approach. If they have to meet these timelines, they might have to rush some of the processes. Many battery manufacturers are not interested in investing in new lines for the sake of projected sales. And so, all wait to see how these suppliers take on this new trajectory. Tesla's mission is to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. Tesla was founded in 2003 by engineers who wanted to prove that electric cars can be better, quicker, and more fun to drive than gasoline cars. Elon Musk launched the Tesla company to accelerate sustainable transport by bringing compelling mass-market electric cars to the market as soon as possible. This mission is the backbone of Tesla's successful business model. Its fast assembling timelines, continuous production capacity enhancement, and the constant evolution of manufacturing of products. This strategy means approaching all the business models with identifying the lowest denominator and producing it from scratch. The company is always looking for ways to cut costs and corners to make more and waste less. The battle line of the next generation of EV batteries seems to have been drawn. Tesla's 4680 may seem to be in the clear lead, but Ford and BMW seem to be moving in another direction with the hope of catching up. The supplier of Ford and BMW, Solid Power, announced the future for them in solid state batteries. The two companies have shown immense support to their supplier and have led this $130 million venture funding. The significant advantage of these solid state batteries is that they involve high capacity energy storage devices that replace the gel electrolyte on conventional cells with a solid conductive material. As a result, the solid state batteries will have better energy density and better safety. The one catch going into solid state is that it is expensive and probably will cost so much that the intent to reduce the cost of cars will not be achieved. Still, both companies are excited to be in the race toward investing in a new direction like their top rival, Tesla. Yeah, and I wanna stress, this is not just a concept or a rendering. We are starting to ramp up manufacturing of these cells at our pilot 10 gigawatt hour production facility just around the corner. Yeah. So, do you think this can go far or there will be new competition in the market? Let us know what you think in the comment section. This will be the end of our video today. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. See you next time.